What's going on guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how you can organize lists in Python. And I'll show you specifically with a CSV since a lot of people uh, will be working with CSVs, but actually you don't have to do it just with CSVs and really you don't even need the CSV reader uh, to do any of this. But for the sake of showing it, I'm going to go ahead and show it anyways, but I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, and then I'll just show you how you can just sort a simple list, anything you're, you're doing within Python. It's very, very useful stuff. So uh, to keep it simple, we're going to just do the CSV first. So I'm going to go ahead and import CSV. Uh, it's just a CSV reader that Python has you know, pre-built. But again, really uh, reading CSVs is just like reading any other file. You don't really have to use CSV at all, but we're going to anyways. And then import operator. Operator is going to be the main man of this mission. Uh, it's going to do the actual sorting by um, the quote-unquote column that we choose. So to start, I did make a sample data file. Let me just pull it up real quick. Here it is. Uh, and as you can see, we've got two quote-unquote columns. The sample data is actually from a text file, so it doesn't have to be even a .csv, uh, but it can be. It's from this text file, and as you can see, neither one is neither column right is ordered at all so we're going to use that file so we're going to say sample equals open uh, and then sample data dot text with the intention to read and then we're going to go ahead and just so I could show you the CSV reader is going to say CSV1 so it just doesn't conflict with uh, CSV up here equals CSV dot reader and then we want to read a uh, sample and then we're going to go ahead and tell it what the delimiter is. So delimiter equals comma, since they are comma separated. Now, to sort this stuff, all we do is sort equals sorted. And what do we want to sort? Well, we'll sort the CSV1. And then we'll say what the key is. And the key to sort is going to be operator.itemgetter. And then in here, you say what element of that uh, each array you want to sort by. So, for example, these are all the zero width elements, and these are all the firstth elements. First. Anyways, zero. So that'll sort by the first uh, column, so to speak. So uh, we do that. So that's sort. Now we're just going to do a quick for loop for each line in sort, print each line. So now when we save that and run that, we'll come over here, we can see, wow, it did indeed sort by that first. Uh, column. Conversely, we can always do the second column, run that, and again, this is all jumbled up, but this column is nice and very neatly sorted. Pretty cool. But, again, like I said, you don't actually have to use uh, the CSV reader. The downside of the CSV reader is your CSV reader is going to require a, uh, at least in this, in this sense, I don't know too much about the CSV module, uh, I kind of don't see the point of it personally because you could instead uh, open up the sample file, split it by new line, and then split it by comma. Um, so that's what I've always done personally. Uh, but at least in this form, it's going to expect of you to pass all of uh, the items through it as strings. So you couldn't really get away with calling CSV reader on like a list or something like that. But that's fine because you don't need that at all. So here's another. Uh, example. So we're going to say sample2 equals, and then we're going to have, you know, a little list, and then we're going to have some lists within our uh, list. We'll just make it simple with three items. Um, so we can do 5, 6, and then 7, 1, and 3, 2. Okay, so neither column is sorted. So now, sort doesn't have to be a CSV type of file at all. It could be sample2. Right, so this is just, you know, if you had maybe x and y coordinates and you really uh, wanted to organize your x coordinates to go linear in order, uh, this would be how you would do it. So again, we'll do this. Everything else lines up, so that's fine. We can run it, and you can see that we've organized via the second column since that's what we left in there. So let's go ahead and fix that and make it the first column. And we drag this back over, and sure enough, you can see that we are organized by that first column. 
So really neat stuff. Normally it is shown within uh, CSV just because the idea of it is you're organizing by a column. But as shown, you don't need to use CSV at all. You can read every file without CSV anyway, so um, it's not essential. But sorting via uh, you know, quote unquote columns or elements in each little array can be very, very helpful, especially when you're merging um, maybe two bits of, of data together, but you want to organize them either by a date or something else. Uh, this becomes extremely useful. So anyways, hopefully you guys found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.